mag-derivative naman tayo ng mga logarithmic function. So, meron na naman tayong bagong set ng formula na kailangang gamitin pag kukuha tayo ng derivative ng logarithmic function. At ito yung dalawang formula na to. So, yung derivative daw ng logarithm of x base a is equal to 1 over x ln a. At yung derivative naman, kung natural logarithm ang gagamitin natin, ang derivative ng ln x with respect to x is simply 1 over x. Of course, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung uh, du or yung uh, derivative nung nasa loob nung function nyo. So, bukod sa derivative ng logarithmic function na kailangan yung tandaan, kailangan nyo ring uh, i-review ulit yung expansion ng logarithm. Ito yung tatlong logarithmic expansion na ginawa natin, I think, sa geometry at saka sa trigonometry. So, kung meron kang logarithm of a, a over b, its expansion will be logarithm of a minus logarithm of b. At kung meron ka naman logarithm of a times b, ang expansion niya naman is logarithm of a plus logarithm of b. At ang expansion ng logarithm of a raised to n is n times logarithm of a. Now, let's use our uh, new set of formulas, yung derivative ng logarithmic function, dito sa example na to. So, sa example na to, ang gagamitin natin is yung rule ng derivative ng logarithm of x. Kasi, kukunin natin yung derivative ng function na logarithm of 5x base 3. At sa pagkuhan ng logarithm of 5x base 3, f prime of x is equal to the derivative of logarithm of 5x base 3. At alam natin yung u nyo is 5x at yung derivative ng u is 5. So, kailangan nyo yan sa... Uh, formula ng derivative ng logarithm. So, base dun sa formula, f prime of x is equal to 1 over 5x ln 3 times the derivative of u, which is 5. So, ito na yung derivative ng function nyo, or yung logarithmic function nyo, pero kung gusto mo pa siyang i-simplify, pwede mo siyang gawing f of x is equal to 5 over 5x ln of 3, at since pwede mo makancel tong dalawang to, since factor sila, equal to 1 over x ln of 3. So, ito yung simplest form ng derivative ng logarithm of 5x base 3. Of course, using the formula. Now, ito naman yung uh, second example. Uh, medyo complex yung function, pero... Pag ginamit nyo na yung formula ng derivative ng logarithm, mapapansin nyo na madaling-madaling lang siya. So, let's find the derivative of y equals logarithm of quantity 2 plus sine x. So, yung 2 plus sine x nyo, isang function lang siya kasi enclosed siya sa parentheses. So, dy over dx, so yung derivative ng function yung y in, with respect to x, is derivative of logarithm of 2 plus sine x. So, gagamitin din natin yung u, which is 2 plus sine x du will be cosine x because the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Using the derivative of logarithm, sa formula ulit, so you have 1 over 2 plus sine x, which is x, yung x nyo, ln of 10. Now, bakit ln of 10? Kasi, dapat matandaan nyo na kapag hindi nakasulat yung base ng logarithm, yung logarithm nyo ay may base ng 10. Kaya, ln 10 yung nandun sa denominator nyo. So again, derivative ng log of x will be 1 over x ln of the base, which is 10, times derivative ng u, which is cosine x. And uh, pag sinimplify nyo pa siya further, dy over dx, or yung derivative ng um, function nyo with respect to x, would be cosine x all over 2 plus sine x times ln 10. On our third example, we're using um, the derivative rule naman para sa ln or uh, natural logarithm. So let's find the derivative of ln of cosine 3x. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of ln of cosine 3x, wherein yung u nyo is cosine 3x at yung du nyo is negative 3 sine 3x. Using the formula for the derivative of ln, it's just 1 over x, kaya 1 over, kung ano yung uh, function nyo, cosine 3x times the derivative of u, which is negative 3 sine 3x. And to further simplify your derivative, f prime of x is equal to 
negative 3 sine 3x all over cosine 3x. Now, wag na wag nyong i-cancel yung 3x kasi hindi siya pwede i-cancel. Kasi yung 3x nyo is with sine at yung 3x nyo is with cosine. So magkaiba sila ng term.